Now, let me quick focus on the damn story now. That's all I'm here for. What is this? Can I touch it? <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh. It's you. Do you have something on your mind? Hmm. This is interesting. You're really uh, good at taking care of others. Oh? Well, what did I do? You're always the first one to charge into battle. <laughs> is that so? Well, I am the train's guard. I suppose it's just instinct. I think you're not bad yourself. Uh, I didn't think you approached me. If you're referring to what I think about you joining the Astral Express, you're overthinking it. My position is simple. It doesn't matter to me. I suggest you ignore my opinions and make your own choice. You don't seem like someone who likes to travel. Being on the Express isn't exactly the same as traveling or adventuring. The Astral Express symbolizes trailblazing. You understand? Trailblazing implies the unknown, be it unknown risks or unknown rewards. In my opinion, the unknown is no more terrifying than the known. In fact, the unknown signifies something we can control and change. Hmm. I don't know, I can't understand. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, let me take this over. Alright, let's talk. I was talking to her. So, have you thought things through? I want to join the Espresso Express. Then come with me. Yeah, I just want to join. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. <sighs> Time to get on. Till we Oh, little Come guy. With me, take the journey. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Um, Pom. <laughs> Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. God, it sounds like Paimon's name. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Pom -pom Sure, there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. All right. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Okay. Oh, I got gold medal. Take the What's this do? Ooh, I can claim all this. <laughs> so we all different skills. A little bit. I'll claim all this. We will see. Come with me, take the journey. I'm gonna a little bit. And what's this? Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to see what this does. Okay. The way 
Himako likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Well, really? That's interesting. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. All right. It's not making me scroll down. Why is that making me move? Can I not move? What is this bullshit? Okay. What's the one I was listening to? I think you could do here. All right, let's focus on the store. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. Okay. Um. Where's March? Oh. Why are you interested in her room? Ah. Oh, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Hmm. Very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Okay, what about Dang Hang, uh, the Damn Dang Hang room? If I say that right. Don Hong's room? Don oh, Hong, okay. you mean the archives? Uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. Okay. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. All right, so next to get her, is there a photograph? You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. All right, that's all my questions for today. To prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Oh, you think I'm trouble or something like that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I talk to these characters? What do you think? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagined? Not that I expect it to look like a train. I mean, I feel like I haven't seen it all the way. I'm just check on you, you guys. Everyone Express is a passenger. We're all heading towards an unknown destination. Like we're traveling together. Mm. Maybe that's why the Trailblaze chose such a look. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. Is there a room for me? Are there room fun? <laughs> what about here? I don't say about the rooms. Oh, you know, young people. Their rooms always reflect their personality. You can go and have a look around. Also, don't mind Pom Pom's antics. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the Express for a long while. All right, I won't steal Pom Pom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. All right, I want to talk to this guy. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? Uh, I feel I'm full of energy. <laughs> Great. Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. You guys saved me too. Yeah, you saved me from me almost losing control. <laughs> All I did was calm that thing inside you down temporarily. I don't want to frighten you, but... The truth is, you won't ever be in the clear while it's still inside your body. Oh, really? However, 
As long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again. But I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. All right. I don't think I'm gonna... Let's focus on the story. Great! Dane... Oh yeah! I could do something like this when I get the chance. Alright. Alright. Mmm, look at this place. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Oh yeah, she's talking. Hmm. Who's that? Ah, uh, it's just me. The door's not locked. Come in. Ooh, we can go into his room. Or is it his room? Oh, I got it is. Ooh, he's got an interesting room. Look at this. Man, it looks like uh, this must be the whole galaxy. Interesting. He's got a book. Ooh. Are those beats? Look like beats. All right, let's talk to him. Can I help you? I just look Feel free. This is open to everyone on the express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the express. I enter the collected data into the archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the express encounters and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Well, really? Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the databank. Do give it a go. Alright. Alright, this one right here. Ooh. Characters. Ooh. different a little bit right here when destruction oh that's what I'm given characters I am not detained well I still want some of these characters wish I can get some of them she's a level five Ooh. We got her. Alright. Alright. I'll be entering any new information we encounter on future journeys. So drop by any time to check it out. We also have a shortcut on the terminal device. I didn't, uh, I didn't take you to be a scholar. Seems like you have some deep misunderstandings about me. Uh, well, I think I know who caused that. I have matters to attend to. Feel free. All right. All right, well, so I think this might be March. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? 
Mm, maybe just a little just peek. One look should be fine, right? Ugh. They have a little girl looks like. Oh, she's got pictures. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. Oh, she got wall pictures, got clothes. Ooh. I'm gonna get in trouble, am I? Bed. I'm leaving. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention, all passengers. Attention, all passengers. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat, the express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I thought I'm looking around first. That goddamn. Goddamn. Can I go in here? Nope. Well, I guess I'm going back. Can I jump? I can't jump. I thought I could jump at least. Guess I can only run fast. Alright. Well, I wanted to hear March. Oh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? I'm ready. I'm ready. So that's the spirit. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump, too. But don't worry, you'll get used to it, too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. You can't just grab something like that? Can't you just grab something like that? Well, it is a little abstract, but basically you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. Um... Is that some sort of mojo jumbo about transforming that uh, kind of dissing? Uh, this is science! Don't get distracted! <sighs> Focus. Okay. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might! Okay. I'm gonna do this. Really? I've never been able to do it successfully myself. Really? What does it feel like? Like all your worries have been swept away? Ah, uh, probably no. This is your first time experiencing the warp jump, so a little discomfort is unavoidable. If you're really anxious about it, I can stay here and have a chat with you. Oh, dang, that's a lot we could talk about. Mmm, about our... Anyway, I'm gonna do the first one. About everyone on the Express. Uh, who would you like to know about? Oh, dang. There's a lot. There's a lot of questions I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> She's the owner of the Express. We joke around calling Pom Pom the conductor, but everyone knows Himiko is the boss. It all started with her encounter with the Astral Express, and they haven't been apart since then. She's extremely passionate, like a, a burning sun. Mm -hmm. However, she remains mysterious most of the time. Once in a while, you feel that she's burning herself out, trying to accomplish her dream. Only someone like her is worthy of the Astral Express. I think Himiko's vision of her whole life revolves around uh, a very important dream. Mm. Okay, hold on. Okay, Pom Pom. Okay, what he's, what he's all about. To be honest, I don't know when Pom Pom appeared. Uh, I think it was before I came to the Express. No, wait, maybe it was after. 
so no one knows. Pong Pong is like the spirit of the Astral Express. Whenever anyone on the Express needs help, they will appear immediately. It would be ill-advised to underestimate them. Pom Pom is terrifying when they get angry. Yes, it's terrifying. Ooh. Okay, what about him? Uh, I'm, I said I'm gonna say his name wrong. Dan Hung is a lonely yeah. child. He may appear distant and cold, but his heart is kind. Perhaps he's the way he is today because he spent so much time on the run. Sometimes he reminds me of myself when I was young. We don't know what he's running from. He once told me that he didn't know either. All he knew was that something was chasing him and that he had to run away. First from the Sienjo, then the IPC. This has to do this has to do with Blade, right? Yeah. Now I kind of been spoiled about some of the stuff in the story, but not like everything. So he boarded the ship of a troop called the Morning Actors and escaped the IPC. After a while, he made his way to the Express, and he's stayed here longer than anywhere else. Hmm. The Morning Actors sounds interesting. Sounds like an interesting name. Don't worry. No matter who or what wants to hurt Don Hung, we won't let them. Those who dare attack members of the Astral Express should be prepared to suffer the wrath of me and Himiko. All right, what about March 7th? Did Himiko tell you about March 7th? Um, she was trapped in ice, floating through space. We happened upon her and rescued her. Ooh. It was a unique type of ice known as six-phase ice, a substance that adheres to imaginary law, meaning that external forces cannot change its form. Whoever sealed her inside the six-phase ice, no matter who it is, did so either to protect her or banish her. I believe she had been floating through space for some time. Does he remember everything about herself, or, or is she just keep it to herself? Hmm, that's an interesting background. Okay, what about this? It's impossible to trace the origins of this phenomenon. When it's observed by humans, or should I say, once it begins to affect the physical world, it's already too late to reverse. It's like a sudden storm that appears on a calm ocean. This phenomenon causes the smooth journey through the expanse to be filled with dangers. The mechanism whereby this mutation and corrosion spreads is the Stellarons. Mm. It promulgated rapidly, like cancer cells. So the Interastral Peace Corporation named it the cancer of all worlds. Dang. That's interesting. They are the army ruled by the Eon of Destruction, Nanook. As Nanook's followers, they stand against all life and civilization and execute the will of destruction, disseminating chaos and calamity. Dang. Their actions cannot be explained by reason, because their only motivation and purpose is to destroy. Hmm. That's wild. Fragmentums are a phenomenon of corrosion. The mainstream school of thought is that Stellarons catalyzed the appearance of Fragmentums. All matter and space that comes into contact with the Fragmentum will be turned into Fragmentum creations. However, you don't have to feel too burdened. At the very least, the current state of the Stellaron in your body is very stable and will not cause distortion to the outside. Mm, I don't have any questions after that. Dang, that kind of wild. I know we've been talking for a while. All right, what about Himika? What's wrong? <laughs> you look like you were about to say something. Oh, I think I know what you're going to ask. You've come to the right person. Ooh. Okay, what about the Express? Ooh, you want to know more about the Express? I'm glad. After all, it's an important companion of ours. Oh, dang it, a lot we've been talking. Alright, but I gotta talk about it since I don't know a lot about this. 
The Astral Express was a tool created by Akivili the Trailblaze, who used it to transport themselves and the Nameless across the galaxy. It is rumored that there are other vehicles like it, but the Express has no such records. Really? When I found the Express, its memory had been severely damaged, with much of its valuable information lost. All I know is that the Express is an aspect of creation built by Akivili themselves and used to travel the cosmos. Mm. As for how it was built and how it was damaged, I do not have an answer. Hmm, okay, we're about... About where the astral is heading, yeah. The Express is traveling on a route that the Trailblaze once embarked on. The names of some destinations have been lost, but the first and final stops were both at Pagana, Akivili's home world. Mm. We speculate the Astral Express started its journey from Pagana, stopping at each destination along the way before returning there for its next journey. However, the appearance of the Stellaron has caused a delay at each stop. Mm. Okay, about the spread sort of power? There's a legend in the galaxy. The heart of Akivili themselves lies in the core of the Astral Express, providing it with the power to travel between worlds. But I found no evidence of that aboard the Express. Besides, the Express existed before the Trailblaze fell. There's no way they could have had two hearts, right? However... It is likely that the Express possesses some sort of mechanism to transfer power from the Trailblaze. Mm. It wouldn't be possible with a normal Path Strider. Okay, what about those? The Fallen Eon, deceased Trailblaze. Their passing is still a mystery, but of all the known eons, Akivili was the closest to mankind. In the data bank aboard the Express, it is recorded that they walked among the mortals, adventuring, fighting, and celebrating with them. Although they were an eon restrained by the Prima Mobile, Akivili enjoyed a freedom similar to us mortals. I see. They were different from most. But their passing came so suddenly that it was thought they were killed by another eon. I don't believe that to be the case. All right, what about the galaxy? <laughs> the galaxy is endlessly vast. I wouldn't know where to begin, especially when you ask me like that so suddenly. Ah, uh, damn. We got a lot to talk about. All right. <laughs> I've been to many different worlds, yet I still know very little about the galaxy, simply because it's too vast. As for its nature, there are a few theories that I can share with you. The most popular is probably the Cosmos Tree Theory, proposed by Xandar, emanator of erudition and the first member of the Genius Society. Mm -hmm. He compared the galaxy to an enormous imaginary tree, with its leaves being individual universes. Therefore, only eons who draw their energy from the imaginary and emanators who are blessed by eons can travel through the spaces filled with imaginary energy. That's why planets where civilizations exist are so similar. However, the theory has its flaws. Elias Salas, the 56th member of the Genius Society, invented remote detection, disproving that the imaginary is unique. This shook the foundation of the cosmos tree theory. There are other theories as well. The stretching theory, the heat torch theory, and the parallel imaging theory. The Riddlers claim the galaxy is just a dream, and IX's followers seem to like that claim. Hmm. Dang, that's a lot of stuff to talk about. Okay, about the eons. Eons are the most mysterious beings in the galaxy. All we know is that they ascended from the form of intelligent beings. As for the how and why, even the geniuses over at the Genius Society haven't the slightest clue. Well, really now? That is interesting to hear about them. Upon ascending to Eonhood, that being gains power over the paths, free to choose the allocation of imaginary energy however they wish, while suffering the restrictions of the Prima Mobile. 
The Eon of Destruction seeks only to destroy the universe, while the Eon of Erudition wants to find the answer for all that exists. Meanwhile, the Eon of Preservation continues to forge walls, and the Eon of Enigmata devotes itself to obscuring all that is known. A cloud of mystery shrouds the Eons. I heard Madame Herda recruited a team to try and solve the mysteries about them. Mm. All right, about the fashion. Compared to the mean? eons, the factions are much easier to understand. Mortals with the same objective gather together to practice their understanding of eons and paths. Oh yeah, I, I think that's simple enough. Many eons are unreachable, but the factions are close to us. After Akivili trailblazed across the galaxy, people became aware of the existence of other worlds. Gradually, more people started trying to use the power of the eons to travel between worlds. The Interastral Peace Corporation is a good example. They worship Klopoth, the Eon of Preservation, but somehow became the largest economic entity in the galaxy. Another example is the Genius Society. There are no shortages of eccentrics like Madame Herda who dedicate themselves to scientific research under the protection of the erudition. <laughs> These factions possess the same power as us to voyage between worlds. It would be hard to travel through the galaxy without them. I see. Okay, about the paths. The birth of an eon gives rise to a path. The nature of the paths remains a mystery, leaving us to draw an analogy in a way that mortals can understand. It's a philosophical concept of sorts. A person is considered to be on a path when their will overlaps with that path. If the person has a strong enough will, they can draw power from that path. Those who can do so are called path striders. Path striders. Path striders possess extraordinary power, but are still insignificant compared to the eons, like a drop of water in a vast ocean. Sometimes eons will bestow a mortal with their power, making them an emanator of that eon. Is that what I am? I should mention that once a path is open, it cannot be closed, even with the fall of its eon. That is how we are still able to travel across the stars, despite Akivili's passing. Okay. About the Trace Blaze. Trailblaze is Trail a mission, and the source of strength that powers the Express to travel across the galaxy. Oh my god, that's a lot of this crap. God damn! Well, I believe this is the last one. Explore the unknown world to continue our journey ahead. I'll get out fast. Understand the local culture and immerse ourselves within it. Okay. Establish a connection with the new world. Rejoice with it and share in its fears. Connect worlds together, carving an endless path. Yeah, okay, that was fast. Oh, thank God. That took longer than I thought. Alright, let's talk to you. Pom Pom. <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. Uh, yeah, where is he? He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. What is A it? tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Oh yeah, this thing from get similar to Genshin Impact. I don't want it messing me up though. Jesus Christ, all the way to level freaking ten. Okay, might as well take the whole thing. Take, take, take. 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 Okay, never mind. I only left to nine. Okay. Okay, everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. All right. Oh, you can have friends, okay. 
Yep. We can have friends. Which is then. Hey, if you guys want to add me, add me. That doesn't count my name. I should have changed my name, maybe. What I get? Should I change my name? After this, I probably might change my name. Well, I might as well do it right now. Hold on. Alright. Can't change it now, but... Alright. Well, let's sit. Yes. That's what I've been waiting for. The universe. The Astral Express. Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing in my body. Are you the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. Mm -hmm. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rescue from lice. Oh, who was watching you? I'm gonna say this, but we already know. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. How did you get frozen? Yeah. Do you remember what happened before you were frozen? I'm saying this. I don't remember a thing. Yeah, totally. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Oh, I don't wonder why they call you that. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? Yeah. Sorry. I want to say sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh, <laughs> cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. Ooh, okay. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls over every time. <laughs> That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. <laughs> but I'm thirsty now. I want to hear them. Oh, don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. Ah, uh, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. The key is using your core, waist, and leg muscles. It's not your stance that matters, but your ability to ride the inertia. Well, don't mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. Mm. Why don't they make say something different? Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, well, 
If you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we... For now, I'll see you. just sit and wait. Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. Oh, really? Okay. Our next stop is a small planet called Eurelo 6. Eurelo 6? It's been thousands of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. Thousand years? How long have you guys been alive? But after all this time, it's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. Interesting. How long have these people been alive? Come with me, take the On on tight and wait for the jump to finish. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> all passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, kind of like Star Wars. <laughs> After all those millennia. Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. What does that mean? So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Ugh. Spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. What's he talking about? The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Mm. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? Mm. If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. Gotta be what? The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. A Stellaron. Hmm. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. What should we do? Yeah. Don't worry. It's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Oh shoot, well, keep messing up. Okay, so you're saying... Why can't people in the world affect save themselves? So we're like... I can't read that. Okay, ban from causing nights? I'm gonna say this. Right! You finally get what we're all about! Pretty cool, huh? I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March. Dan Hung and you. Oh, uh, okay. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron <coughs> responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. All right. Sounds easy enough. Awesome. We get to work as a team again. You're not coming? Well, shoot, okay. You're not coming? Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. 
so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Eurelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Alright. Alright. I wonder if I'm gonna end this video right here. I feel like it's just been like a little bit shorter than just talking. But hmm. I'm probably gonna switch um party members for this. No. Alright, team ups. We already know what she can do. Who am I gonna lose? Oh, let's see what Luca can do. Add. Alright. I thought I'm done talking. Well, I'll talk to March, that's it. Covered in snow and ice. Will I find my answer here? Whoa! <sighs> Don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Why are you still here? Go find Don Hong. Exciting adventures are waiting for us. All right, okay. Let's just talk to him. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Yeah. Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. I feel fine. Mm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Eurelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. Really? Well, says it was caused by a star oil. Ah, I'm saying that wrong. Star oil. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the star rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. Uh, by normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Uh, I'm gonna want you and me and March to go together. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. <laughs> so you don't want to be a babysitter. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Eurelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Okay. Awesome. Sorry, I'm even. All right, March. Did you talk to Don Hung? Yeah. Go. Um. Yeah, he doesn't seem full of energy. <sighs> That's our Don Hung. Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. <laughs> Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? Yeah, you bet. Wanna when go. I first saw this planet. I thought, a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. Hmm. We don't know unless we have a look for ourselves. Yeah. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. <laughs> what? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, 
And now you. All right. Here oh, comes shoot. the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. All right, let's go. I didn't mean to skip that part. Ooh, ooh. Urelo 6. We're here. One big snowball. Hey, get your own metaphor. I did not mean to skip that. What did I say? She looks mad though. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. All right, we go straight. What are we waiting for? Let's go. All right. Now, why didn't we land at the destination? I didn't know we had that height. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykeen Stadium? Or shall I? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Okay, I can see. <laughs> I can see why. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! <laughs> Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're going to regret it. Uh, yeah, they're gonna regret it. Let's make sure that we're not the ones causing trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. Alright, so right, let's check the map. Hmm. Now we go system, astro... Express can travel between different worlds and areas. Oh, okay. Okay. So if I go to this and here, okay, no, that's the wrong one. Okay. I see. All right, that's the sour things. All right, I'm gonna try what Luca can do. This place still hasn't been corroded, yet Fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a significant influence on this world. Dang. Okay, hold on. Let's fight. Too late to repent. Right, <laughs> Small fry. All right, I want to see what he does with this. Don't get cocky now. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Let's go. All right. Now that's a gold-winning victory. <laughs> Okay. What is this? Hold on, I'm gonna still read. I'm still reading that. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. We gotta be careful around this. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Teleport to that. Oh, it's some kind of challenge. Okay. Hmm. We do need some fire on this one, so... I'm gonna try a... Not her. Since we both kind of have the levels. Express has been a lifeline. Time to return the face. Alright. I'm gonna feed this challenge real fast. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Gift from the stars. Oh, I told you I could fight. Watch this. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Totally forgot about this. This sanctuary is but a vision. This is our chance. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Nah, I'm not gonna use it. Clemency. All right. Ooh. Nah. Interesting. They're just like challenges. I get that. Okay. Kind of like those things from before. Okay. Such characters. I want to try a different character. Okay. We still didn't finish him, so hold on. Alright, march. I'm almost gonna keep fighting. It's too late to repent. You have the worst luck running into me. Better up. You're annoying. All right. You couldn't have done it without me. Did you see that? I think something's moving. Hmm. It's just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Of course not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. All right. Probably something, but... Oh, someone in there? Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Holding your breath won't help. <laughs> I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. <laughs> yeah. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! Uh -oh. My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> they look suspicious. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> I feel okay. I feel like this guy's shady. Is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. 
Sam Paul Cosby. I'm Kalani. Excellent. I'll remember the name. I never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not! Sam Pokoski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together! <laughs> okay, he sounds shady as hell. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silverman Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity! Mmm. Um, what business are you talking about? Yeah, uh, Silverman guards from the front lines. I'm not talking about the business. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a silver main guard. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about this real quick. Is there a Solomon nearby? Okay, where were you hiding in the snow? I have no idea who are these silver guards or even are. Hmm. Really, there's three questions. Okay. I want to say, why are you hiding in the snow? Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. <laughs> Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Okay, what are the Silver Guards? Whatever. Silver main Guards? You really don't know? The Silver main Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Mm. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As... A senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Oh, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. Okay, how much? Oh, no. <laughs> Not with that look. <laughs> but, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kuski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. All right. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Yeah, sounds like a scam. Sounds like a big scam. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Oh, we got caught, aren't we? Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Now we're gonna have to fight. It's now or never. Over to you, dear friends. All right, time to fight. Who do you think you're? Oh, he laughed. He, he laughed. He get the out of there. Life and death revealed in an instant. Well, we're gonna attack these fools. This sanctuary is but a vision. 
Ball, bam! Out of here. With that weak shit. Get the freak out of here with that weak shit. I could take you one arm only. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Snap out of it. Ooh. I told you I could fight. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything special. Stay right there Wait, while that's I not what I meant. It. That's not what I meant to Let's do. Make it quick. No, I'm just, I'm just gonna hit. Oh, we Set still fighting. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I'm gonna do this. Bam! Ooh, okay. I could fight. I'm gonna. Let's go. I'm gonna finish you off. Rules are made to be broken. Yep. Oh, Marsh. <laughs> it's the. Uh, oh. Ooh, who's this guy? Ah, <laughs> oh, a new character. A character. Ooh, we're gonna fight this guy? I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, oh, that Sampo okay. cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Yeah, I feel he was just scamming. Relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Oh, forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Oh, fighting words right there. Okay. The truth of life and death. Right, we're gonna use it on him. Okay. This sanctuary is but a vision. Okay. <laughs> Small fry. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. Oh, I want to see what he does. Where's the applause? An opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see some sparks fly. Oh, okay. Alright, March. I think I'm gonna use you for defense. On who? Who I should use it on? Alright, use it on me. How can we lose? I'm gonna try to do this. Okay. It's too late to repent. Alright, March. Let's do your Check thing. Yeah. Take that, boy. Ooh, what's this? Oh, he went back. Oh, dang. He did something. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Yeah, he left. Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Yeah, he left. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. We're not his accomplice. We just met the guy. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but... We're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... Um... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects. Not now. Take them away. Ah, oh, shoot. But we're not from Bellabog. Yeah, look at take a look at our clothes. Does our equipment bear any witness to yours? Show him the photo of March. Hmm. I 
want to see what the photo. Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. Okay. That seems to be like a great you idea. You say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. Mm -hmm. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. All right. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Ooh. Interesting place, city I right hear. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion of humanity? Last bastion? Yeah. <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. Uh, I see. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He sure saying some weird stuff. No, he's just talking about, like, history. Mark Their history. Tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Yeah. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? He wanted to know. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why Mark says like that. <laughs> Ooh, this place looks interesting right here. But hold on, before I do anything, I'm going to be back real fast. Alright. Let's talk, okay. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats. Including the monsters you saw. Oh shoot. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. Hmm, I see. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. Hmm. The architect. The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the eternal freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. 
The Supreme Guardian? Mm. The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Cocolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I guess. I will now bring you to see Madame Cocolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Uh, shoot. Why I keep doing that? Keep touching it. Uh, can I tag along? You look fine, is there any... Well, I want to tag along. Let's not waste time. No one will notice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Cocolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... Oh, that is her. <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, mother. Oh, that's her mother. Mm, she is mad. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? Correct. <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Uh, so you don't doubt our uh, in our identity, so you believe we are from the skies? I'm saying this. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Ah, uh, we want to help. Yeah, stop the traves. Stop the trade waves this planet. Uh, well, uh, I say I said that wrong. We come to trade blaze this planet. I want to say we want to help. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. Mm -hmm. A Stellaron. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct. Okay, let me see... Oh, we're not going to... Oh, should I pick? I'm saying this. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Mm-hmm. Well, something like that. <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove 
vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. Hmm. You do got a point, though. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. So please, uh, please let us locate the Stell. Ah, dang. Stellarell. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer, too. Mm-hmm. I have my voice. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Mm -hmm. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Alright, thank you, Supreme Guardian, Landis. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Did she send something? What is that? Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Ooh, -hoo, heck yes. He's very reasonable. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. Mm hmm. I thought we'd gonna be in jail. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Heck yes, I wanna look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. Oh, okay. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Billabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, okay. and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. Uh, okay. So the corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Alright. Yeah, we get the look around. Okay, um... Dang, this is interesting. Oh, that heals. I thought you can hit it. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's get this one right here. Heck yes. So we can go back here every time we want. Alright, what's the closest? Right here. Hi! That's the girl I was using for a little bit. Wow, look at the carved ice! It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? 
Yeah, that new character right here. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. You can call me Pela. Okay, Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna say this. And perhaps the grown ups among us could refrain from acting like children? <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopak. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even Everwinter Bog, Monument goddamn. is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These Ooh. two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Um, oh, that was it. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. Ooh. Interesting place. Ooh. I get food. That's where I give my guys some food. My god. Mm, what does this do? Feels like I do got a lot though. Oh yeah. CDs. Yeah. Um, I wonder what these do. Alright, collects. A book. Alright, let's go here. Never Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He did. He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Well, because it's probably hot. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Yeah. It's probably freezing. Yeah. This is how they remove the entire freeze. Yeah. That makes sense. If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. <laughs> Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. Yeah. Ooh. What's this interesting character right here? <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, wow. She's oh. cool. Oh, it, is that her? Or is that someone else? I think it's someone else. Uh, hi. Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. Oh. Okay. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Mm -hmm. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Yep, I just bought one of them. We only just got here, everything's new to us. Yeah. Only just got here? Yep. We're not from here. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? Yep, that is us. What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Ooh, okay. We're chatting inside. Wait, I do got her, right? Let me see. Characters. Oh, yeah, I do. You know, to be honest, <laughs> I thought it was her for a second there. The one that we met a while ago. Hmm. 
I guess not. All right. Ha! The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Okay, what is the... I can't... G Merlin. Um, I can't read some of this stuff sometimes. What am I saying? It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath yeah. the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Okay, about the benefits, about the benefits in the surface. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. I will I'll keep silence. Okay, why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Yeah. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Hmm. Sure, why not? Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Ah, it's one of those things. Alright. Mm-hmm. God, well, the points just needs to be together. Alright. So that's how it works. Yeah, that is interesting. Cool. Glad they on. I was talking to her. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Um, I'm not even sure. I got to refuse. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you, and your wallets, of course. <laughs> well, if, if, if I have interesting to buy, let me look. Hmm. Can I climb up? Am I not allowed to climb up? Mm. Can I go in here? No. Wait. Mm -hmm. well, I guess I'm going back. Alright, we're on to the next one. Alright, what's over there? There's a lot of stuff right here. Hold on. Before we go to missing, uh, ooh, vending machine. I guess it's where we leave. Oh, I never checked the new paper. Well, maybe next time.
Mm. Okay, all right, let's go back. Wish I could jump. See, I wish I could jump like this, but I can't. I think. Oh, I'm taking it. Oh. What does it do though? Oh. Okay, true love. Alright, let's get back. Alright, let's go over here. We'll see. Uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. Mm -hmm. The one contaminated by the fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. If they hadn't identified it, I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Mm -hmm. Move back! This is your final warning! But... but my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum Corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Yeah, this world really is in a, yeah, in a difficult situation right now. Yeah, can a soldier really hold back the uh, Fragmenta, uh, Fragmenta, whatever it's called? Frag termites, whatever. Can't read. The fragments, whatever. You know. As long as the Stellaron is active, the corrosion will continue to spread. Ah, uh, dang. The soldiers can only periodically clear the fragmentum of monsters. But the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> Yeah, uh, have time dealing with that. Literally, I was literally just up there. So tired. Huh. I just want to put my head on a pillow and drift off. Uh, seems like the first day of our trailblazing expeditions is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hun? It's because you've got too much energy. Oh yeah, we get to go inside of here. Oh, hotel. Hmm. Are we sure we're gonna be wow, in the hotel? What a beautiful lobby! It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> <laughs> March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. <laughs> but check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's not what I was going to say. Uh, what are you gonna say? All right, the spin honk. It out, then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort, uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Uh, you did you notice anything? Oh, so you guys did notice something up back there. I know there was something up with her. I want to say this. Something up with her? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first. But she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me, 
As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like oh, yeah. that? That's scary. Yeah, that does make sense. We heard that thing from her. After that, uh, it must have been my imagination. No. Must have been an invisible man. Hmm. I wasn't sure if that's even the case. I'm gonna say this though. Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Yeah, hopefully nothing crazy happens. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. But we might do, we're probably do gonna do some crazy stuff anyway, so. To go into our rooms in this whole hell. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. Um, hmm. I'm gonna rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Alright, see you all, guys. Oh, you too. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Alright, I wanna just look at the rooms. I did not mean to do that. Oh, that voice. Who are you? What are you? Ooh. This is like her younger self. We are allies. Allies of the Guardians in generations. What do you want? To rebuild this side of the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the Starons. Okay. To Set up with the dark eyes. No, nah, this sounds interesting, so I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, it sounds like somebody's walking. The guy with the hotel devil? <laughs> okay, I'm saying this. Oh, it's this room tippers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> I 
okay. That was interesting. I'm gonna collect this book. Um, this, what is this? Alright, not goofing around, let's just focus on the story. Hey, huh? did you hear that? Hear what? There's a group of Silver Mane guards at the entrance. And I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. Oh, no, 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 that please. You guys are assuming a lot. All I can see is their uh, helmets. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we always be friendly on the job, you know? You can't always be friendly on the job, you know. Uh, maybe they're not here to escort us. Mm. No, I'm going to say this just to be funny. Oh, I just have a feeling. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. That didn't affect anything. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Okay, they sound serious. Are we in a lot of trouble? Sounds like we are for some reason. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's her daughter. What she wants? Huh? It's you. You were there at the fort. Yeah, and Pal too. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord and the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Wait, what? We haven't done anything. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Wait, hold on. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Wait, oh, come on. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. <sighs> this is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Yeah. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. <laughs> hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Oh, uh, what's your plan? Donna, the alley. Oh, well, okay, we're, we're running then. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm. Huh. It's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. <laughs> yeah, it's now or never. Okay. We probably should go with them. No. I'm saying this. We'll leave out of this bitch. We have a kind. I guess we are the stranger set. We I guess we are the strange trio. I'm saying this. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Um, uh, not half the cards you guys are playing. Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! <laughs> Run. Ooh. Well, we're running. <laughs> Right in there. They charged straight in. Yep. Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Oh, she's going after us. Y yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog's security. That is what I must do. 
They are serious. They're trying to get. They are serious about us. Trying to go after us. Ha! See, they weren't brave enough to follow us. Freedom! And hey, don't be counting them out yet. Just yet, March. Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. Oh, oh please, that's the result that counts. Gotta take risks sometimes if you want to succeed. I kind of get it though, but we caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. All right. All right. I'm gonna switch characters real fast. Let me see. Team up. Help. Right there. Well, I'm still keeping all these free for the story. But I'm going to try someone else. I'm going to try her. The girl we just met. I mean, I should love her love. Well, at least some of them, at least. Alright, let's level you guys up. Cover her up a little bit. All right. Mm. Ah, name. All right. All right. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Uh, the cheek! That woman had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. Alright, um... Before we attack... Oh no. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. It's too late to repent. The time is now. I don't know what she, what she can do. <laughs> Ooh, she seems to have a guitar? I did not notice that. Watch this! Let's go. Are made to be broken. With it. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. Lego. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, yeah, that's the thing we saw. Hmm. Maybe next time. Well, maybe next time. Alright. I'm going to use a single attack. Hmm. The worst luck running into me. <sighs> Let's make it quick. Oh, dang. Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Right. 
a thing. Turn up the volume. All right, let's Ready see what she does. Yourself? Yep. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Ooh. My turn. By that cool. Watch this. Let's go. Step aside. I have no enjoyment. Ah, come on. Oh, man, she's gonna die. Let's rock. Oh, motherfuckers. How you heal this bitch? Come on, I need something to heal. Do I got heal characters? Some shit like that. Or can I just leave? Can I leave? The truth of life and death revealed in an end to this sanctuary is but a vision. Man, I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up in my tempo. Give you a present. I want to die. Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. I'm gonna get these characters killed. This is our chance. I want him to die. Okay. Dang. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Come on, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Okay. Okay, there. Well, I didn't die at least. Oh, dang. Can't stop the rock. Wow. Wait, okay, hold on. How do you freaking heal? thing too. Alright. Time to twirl. Okay. You told you I could fight. This is our chance. Huh. What are you looking at? All right, let's see what she can do. Ooh. Yeah, what a hammer. You couldn't have done it without me. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, that opens. Oh, let me check the map. All right. Mm. Wait, there are silver main guards here. Careful not to alert them. All right. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. 
We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Right back at ya. That just opens. Mm. Oh. Oh, let me look over here first. Ah, uh, that's where we were, okay. This is another shortcut, alright. Like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yes. We saw one in Cherval's workshop. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Oh yeah. This thing. Hmm. Hmm. No match for me. All right. Is there a message? Oh yeah, we gotta clean that. Okay, I thought it was something else. All right. Clemency? Never heard of it. Time to twirl! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Ah, one hit. You have the worst luck running into me! I'm gonna use that for later. What are you looking at? Time to twirl! The time is now. Alright. Fuck you guys out with that. You couldn't have done it without me. This will strengthen our position. I'm gonna attack it. Attack! It's too late to repent. No one sees you single attack. Time to twirl! Ooh. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Yes. Oh. Another cutscene. Mm, I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. Oh, uh, we gotta fight that guy. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Dang, that used to be a soldier, I just realized. Hmm. Okay. The firm. Okay. So we can use this to eat. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, heck yes. Effect. In the areas. Hmm. All right. Okay. 
They need a lot of things. That can help us. Alright. Mm. I wanna attack this motherfucker, okay. Yeah, we're going to war. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Man, I always like the animation to this. Time to turn. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, past victories don't guarantee future ones. Let go. It wasn't over here. What is this? Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, dang. Hmm. Nope. That looks like a boss. Okay, hold on. Well, you look. I want to see what this one's doing. Looks like it's looking for something. Ooh, we got another treasure. Back to the boss. All right, I'm gonna beat that boss real fast, and then we continue the story. Well, that was my all shoot up. Oh, dang. Move carefully. Time to twirl! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! You have the worst luck running into me! Do you know who I am? <laughs> Yeah, I have seen her attack. Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't ever see her attack, didn't I? Well, that was cool. Huh. All right, knock Let's you out make of there. Quick. Take this. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah, another ass beating. Get it. You're welcome. Burning. Better up. It'll take more than that. You can't run. Ooh, okay. Frozen him. Gotta try hard sometimes. 
And now I'll finish you off with this. It's too late to repent. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Yeah, I'm about to die, am I? The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Mm -hmm. Do you know who I am? Yeah. A diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours! You know what? She kind of sounds like Paimon. Wait, no, 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 not her. Kaylee, yeah. That's what I'm about to say, Klee. You know I'm gonna use a shield. You know what? With me out here, how can we lose? You must be honored to meet me. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking. Okay. Hopefully I don't die. Hopefully the whole crew doesn't die. Rules are made to be broken. And Huh. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Huh. Well, bam, frozen. I didn't kill this him though. Chance. Come on. What are you looking at? All right there. All right. Well, first, let's eat. Just hoping something like that. Okay, okay. This should be secure. Uh, not a book. All right, let's continue. There's knowledge of this in the databank. Man, I wish I could jump. Alright. Oh shoot, another one. You dare underestimate what? me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Ah, oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. Oh, really? She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. No, we're not. Huh, what a two-faced hag! 
<laughs> Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. Oh yeah, you said that to her mom like that. Yeah, that is her mom though. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Oh, they're gonna get your ass beat. Oh, we're fighting. We're fighting her. Clemency? Never heard of it. Okay, so... Hmm, right. I just want to attack him. Okay. Well, not yet. You have the worst luck running into. Th <laughs> All right. <sighs> Lady Bronya. I'll handle these evildoers myself. Oh, great. Well, now we're fighting her. What she can do. I won't break. Fight with me. Oh, Please she's bringing back up. Wait, what she can she do? No weaknesses. Abilities. Interesting abilities. Alright. Mm. The truth right, let's of life do this. and death revealed in it this sanctuary is but a vision. Yeah, this never gets old. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? It's all yours. Time to twirl. Watch this. Let's go. Time to twirl. Rules are made to be broken. All right. Mm -hmm. Give up, say you're welcome. <laughs> What are you looking at? It's gonna hurt. So. Stop right there. Oh, dang. Let's see. Let's... Hmm. Stay right there while I give you a present. Well, shit. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Take this! Time to twirl! Huh? He's still Do frozen. You know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours! The truth of life and death revealed this sanctuary is but a vision. He's still frozen. Okay, never mind. My turn. 
Alright, I'm going to use defense on With him. Here, how can we lose? So. <laughs> Try that again. Back off. Oh, dang. Okay. You can't run. <laughs> what are you looking at? It's going to hurt. Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> 15 for a cent. Rules are made to be broken. Now I'm gonna use this tack on you, boy. Decisive strike! Now oh, you gotta try harder than that. Like running into me. Watch this! Let's go. Oh, I blast you guys. All we need is like one hit. Maybe you can kick it down. All right. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung. Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength. Oh, your secret strength. You first. You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I have one thing to say. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I mean, and I mean what I say. <laughs>